want to support me, go to Nene Marie 37 on Instagram and purchase you a signed copy of my book. You want to support me? Go to TikTok. Follow me at Trenches News 3837. Best audio book out on Spotify, man. Make sure y'all go check out Video Nocturno. Yo! It's your boy Trenches News, and I'm back at y'all with another one. I appreciate all the support. Thanks for everyone who subscribed to the channel. If you ain't subbed to the channel, make sure you do. Make sure you join the membership. Shout out to all my mods. If you ain't following them, you can follow their yes at the end of this video. Remember, if you got anything extra, food, hygiene, clothes, bag it up, take it outside, and give it to the less fortunate. Remember, we all one step away from being homeless. Mother Nature could come, destroy everything, and now you're homeless. So make sure you get back. With that being said, let's say the kids, the women, the elderly, the neutrons, and the civilians. Happy Tuesday to everybody. Hope everybody's safe, ate, and blessed. I got two stories for y'all. Make sure y'all smash that like button so this video can get around to the masses. If you want to support, remember, go to Nene Marie 37 on Instagram and purchase you a signed copy of my book. We got No Limit Mally, 20 years, and the witness was killed. We're going to talk about that, and we're going to talk about OTF Jam. Why and what is the consequence for OTF Jam for being there? Does he still get charged, or does OTF Jam get immunity and walk free after this? Hey, we're going to start off with OTF Jam. We're going to start off with OTF Jam. Um, Lil Dirk and a five has been arrested for Quan Do Rondo murder. We know that. It's two, five, and number four conspirators that's gone from the situation. Now, everybody been saying, like, how you know it, how we know it's Jam and all that. Well, the people who was with them know it's Jam, and the gang members that was around them know it's Jam. And, and they said it's Jam. You know what I'm saying? They they spoke out about it already. But why, y'all, people want to know, like, he gave Jam 50000 I seen a lot of this. And why would he tell? Why would he still give up Dirk and Dirk? Blessed him with a car, 50000 and all that. Hey, look, when he got off that plane, he was on parole already. He was on parole, and he had got popped off with a gun. So they already had, they already ran down on him. They They ran down on him. Before he got popped off with the gun. And when they ran down on him, they showed him a video of the whole scene, him going through the airport. Everybody was with him and everything. And they told him, hey, look, you got one option. You know what I'm talking about? Either cooperate with us or you going down with them. You, you're going down. And, you know, he chose his destiny, man. Who the fuck want to be up in there with a bunch of dudes, man, for the rest of their life? And, you know what I'm talking about? Nine out of ten times, they ain't going to help you or none of that. I, I think he was just thinking ahead of time. He was just thinking ahead. He weighed out his options, probably looked at old block situation and was like, damn, man, ain't nobody even helped do them. You know what I'm saying? They didn't put in they, they didn't put in work overtime to go downtown to kill Duck and nobody helped them. And then you look at other situations, you know, but you, you will take consideration of the $50,000 in the car and the house that he gave you already. But that don't equal up to your life. I just thought I had to put that out there to y'all. But I was wondering myself, like, okay, jam out right now. He out free right now, you know. So is they going to give him immunity? Is he still going to be charged with Lil Durk them, but then a lesser sentence? Or, you know, is he just, you know, immunity and he just walked free and he just cleared up with his cases, you know. Now you're on your own. But, yeah. Um, we're going to find out Lil Dirk them, then certain more lawyers. I see Boogie trying to get his lawyer inserted. Um, Asa Houston, uh, Flocker, he got, um, no, Keith Jones, he got a, um, his lawyer inserted. And, of course, Lil Dirk got about four or five lawyers um, already that's getting inserted. You can see it on the paperwork. All you got to do is go to the paperwork and see. Lil Dirk got three different law firms. Um, Keith Jones, he got a lawyer inserted, the same lawyer as Cairo. And then the other dude, he's trying to get a lawyer out of Wisconsin or something. So I'll be back at y'all with a more update on that. But I really think Jam chose life over prison for the rest of his life. Because that's what they getting. All right. Then we're going to go to the next story. No Limit Mally. No Limit Mally is a one of the top members of the drench. Um, with Herbo, um, No Limit Lil Wet, you know, Cairo, all them. Mally is the man. Well, Mally had was uh, arrested for a murder of a guy from MTG. And he he been in jail for some years now, two and a half going on three years. But the good thing for him is he got 20 years for the murder. 
Now, 20 years for, for the murder is a good thing to him. And the witness ended up getting killed while he was um, in jail. And they still gave him 20 years without the witness because the witness already gave up the testimony. So the witness was a witness was killed in the case. And he still got 20 years, man. His lawyer had a damn good lawyer. And, you know, hopefully he, with the time he got in there, he got 17 more to do. Or it could be at 50. We don't know. It's a miscellaneous murder. It could be at 50%. Because I seen people like Dome, he got 50%. Chicken from EBT got 50%. And a lot of more people got 50% on their case. So, you know. He probably can get 50% if not 100. That's still a deal, man, for killing somebody, man. You took a life. That life can't come back. But, yeah, that's what I got for y'all today. I will be going live tonight. I know I told y'all that yesterday, but I had some interviews this morning that I had to knock out, you know. So, I will be live this morning. Y'all get in the comments and let me know what y'all think about the jam situation. Hey, is it is it is it safe to say that jam chose life? Over Lil Durk and them, yeah, you could be gang, gang, gang. You can go down for the whole situation and all that. Not say nothing. But then you're going to be in there for the rest of your life with Journey against and Baby Oil. You know? and or, or you could look at the situation like, man, yeah, I went. But this dude started rapping about it. This, this, even though Jam rap about shit too. Jam put some shit out there on his thing that was that was like incriminating he was labeling everybody in the rap dd dirk and he was telling what they do but you know to sit in jail for the rest of your life man for some for for a guy who 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 he rich you know what i'm talking about he rich he rapped about it he put the quando rondo clip up in there with um little pad when he was saying no i think all that is gonna be used against little dirk plus the running and, and all that he won't get no bond and he gonna be fighting but it's safe to say that he could get less of time than the killers, but then it's safe to say that he can get the same time as the killers because TZ from THF, he didn't kill Duck, but he got the same time as killing Duck. You got to remember, um, it, it wouldn't have happened if the person never made that call. So the person who made the call, just like number four in this situation, whoever number four is, he going down as if he hopped out that car and shot Lil Pab at that gas station. But y'all get in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. Hey, y'all be safe out there. Bless. Make sure y'all go and follow my mods on all platforms, man. Follow my mods like y'all follow me, man. If you want promotion, hit me up at Swiper3837 on Instagram. I got 29.9K followers and I only follow 28 people. So don't tell me nobody beat you out of none of that because it's only one page that follows 28 people. I don't follow thousands of people. You know, so with that being said, man, make sure y'all be safe. Hey, watch out for the robbers. Hey, if you a male man, I know y'all hate dogs, male women, but get y'all a dog, man. The thugs are scared of dogs. They ain't going to run up on you with no knife or no dog or no switch. Let the let the dog go on them. You know, y'all got to start thinking now. The police can't save you or nobody can't save you. And they don't care about it being no federal case. My mind is my nine. I'm out.